I'm scared right now. Like, I'm actually like, nervous about making this decision, but I know once I do it, I'm gonna be very proud of myself. So, here is what this video is on. It is almost 2019, and I wanna change, or not like personally, like my, my spirit, or my personality, but my look. I do wanna change. I'm like so nervous, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna become the opposite version of myself right now. So I'm gonna change my hair, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna dye it. Like I'm actually gonna dye dye it, like a color, along with change my whole look, my outfit to be more edgy, along with getting eyelash extensions and piercings. I don't know how I'm gonna exactly pull this off because my mom is out of town right now, but my dad's home and my mom's gonna like kill me if she comes home and I have piercings. Or actually maybe she won't care. I don't know, but all I know is she does not want me to get a nose piercing, so I won't be doing that. So we're gonna start the whole process today, right now, and let's not chicken out, Fiona. I'm like scared that I'm gonna chicken out, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Pinky promise. So first up, this is my normal style. I would say it's like pretty girly. It's kind of simple right now and it's a little more basic than I usually dress. So we're gonna be definitely changing that up. I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I don't want my mom to be mad at me when she comes home. So I'm gonna call her right now and get her approval so she can't be mad when she gets home. Hi mom. So I'm filming a, I'm filming a video right now and when you come back home, I might look a little different. I might get like a piercing. It's not in my nose. It's not in my nose. But I might look different. Are you okay with that? If it's not on your face, I can go along with that. We're approved. Let's start the hunt for exactly how I want to look online and kind of get all the inspiration. Oh my god. Ah, I'm scared. First up, let's pick the hair because I feel like that's the biggest thing. And like, I want to like kind of tie my outfits with my hair. If that's a, even a thing. I don't know. I've always had brown hair. I'm like, I'm confuzzled. Okay, I have dark brown hair, but there is like lighter pieces in it. And I'm not going to bleach my hair. Like that is something I have vowed not to do for a long, long time. And I'm not going to bleach my hair. So it might be like a darker blue, but at the same time, my hair isn't that dark. So I'm going to guess that it's going to turn out to be like a navyish blue. I really love this girl's hair right here. Like this, this part, right? The can I speak guys? This part right here I think is super cool. So I'm gonna screenshot this one because I think this is kind of like the color I'm gonna be going for. My guess is it's gonna look something like the bottom of her hair right here. Cause that's like a darker color that's kind of looks that kind of looks like my hair. Yeah, something in that range for the blue hair. Next up, let's go to outfits. So I think I'm gonna shop on Dolls Kill Almighty. Oh they have very like, I don't know the word for this. It's like very different than my style. So first up, I was really attracted to these skirts right here. Let's scroll down and see if they have the silver one in stock in my size. I feel like it's gonna be sold out. Oh no, heck yeah, it's not. Okay, then let's find the puffer jacket to go with it. Okay, this is a spicy puffer jacket. Okay, I feel like red and silver is sick. And then I feel like we should get a shirt for under it. These are really cool. I kind of like this. I'm gonna get a size medium because the small's out of stock. And a boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna do that again. So we have the first outfit picked out. Next up, let's see the pants. These pants seem pretty cool, you know? They're like swaggy. They're really out of my comfort zone. Cheetah, Cheetah Fiona. Oh, these are $90. A little scared for myself. I'm gonna just add that to the cart. I'm trying to think of what kind of shirt I would wear with that. Let's go for, I love you, honey bunny. Yeah, let's go for that. I love you, honey bunny. I think that's kind of cute. Okay, I have all those items in the cart. Let's look up eyelash extensions. Let's go for something definitely like achievable, but very, very full. Okay, I like these. These are really nice because they're kind of separated and flowy, but at the same time, very long. So I'm gonna like screenshot that along with these. Okay, so here is the second piercing. I'm deciding on like what kind of second piercing I wanna get. Cause I kind of like want a loop, but at the same time, I don't want two loops. I just want one. So like, I wonder if she'll do just like, no, I don't want it that high though. I want it closer to this piercing. I feel like let's just do like another like stud diamond right there. And if we can, then we'll do a loop. So I believe that's everything. We have clothes, we have hair. And like when I get my hair done, I'll get it cut. Let's like look up lengths because I'm thinking like right above my chest, like right here. Wow, that's a big difference. Now it's time for me to make all the appointments and keep you guys posted. Right now I'm going to get my eyelashes done. This is the before. 
My lashes have like barely any mascara on them. Oh no, there is mascara still on there. I'm excited to go there because they're really sweet. So I'll be able to film it for you guys. Paige, are you excited? So excited. Oh yes. <laughs> So I'm back home. Paige did an amazing job. Look how long they are. They're so, so, so long. This is the picture that she recreated, and then these are my eyelashes right now. Um, now, the next step to looking like a different person. So today is almost the big day of the hair appointment, and I'm gonna go there right now and get a consultation. I called Emmeline on the phone, and I was like, yo, because I like been to this hair salon before. I did my like crimped hair video there, like my 80s hair. I called her and I was like, I really don't want to bleach my hair. And she's like, honestly, if you want bluish hair, like you're going to have to bleach it. So I'm going to talk to her about it and see what my hair would look like if I don't bleach it and if I do bleach it. Because bleaching just sounds so scary, like bleach, bleach, bleach. So this is what I want my hair to look like as the end result. So I'm gonna show her these two pictures as like reference pictures, not the length, like these aren't the lengths that I want. Um, but like the color wise, like that's what I'm going for, like a navy, kind of like royal blue, if you will. Also, look how exciting this is. My Dolls Kill package came in and it says, I'm here, let's party. I'm excited for the whole end final look. I'm gonna look like a different person, honestly. Here we go. What's like my hair color, you think? Like, hair color is in here, it's like a four or a three. To bleach it, you would have to get through some of these warm tones. We okay. would not be taking you that light, we would need to get you in this range in here in order to get some dark blue in your hair. Pretty much how it works is like your natural hair, no matter like what color your hair is, it always has like these warm undertones to it. So she said when you put the blue on, then it's gonna be like, kind of a different color if I don't bleach my hair to be a slightly lighter color. Most likely I'm gonna have to bleach it tomorrow, but she said she's gonna do a test strip of the blue and see what it looks like. If we don't have to bleach it, that would be amazing, um, but it really depends on how the blue without the bleach looks on my hair um, and if it will look like our end goal, which is this picture right here. Hopefully that's what my hair is gonna look like without the bleach because I really do not wanna have to bleach my hair because it will last two months. And then once all the blues washed out, my hair will be kind of like a grayish blue, which is kind of sick looking, but my roots will grow out, which is gonna look a little whack. Then I'm gonna have to dye my natural hair back and it's gonna be more like a darker, like, like a dark brown. So it would take like a few more weeks for my hair to go back to normal. So like in total, I would have my normal hair back in three weeks. The cut, the blowout, the coloring, um, the bleach, like in total will be a little under $300. And without the bleach, then it will be around $200. But yes, tomorrow at 10.30 a.m., I'm gonna get blue hair. So it is my last day with this hair, or my last few minutes actually, because it is gonna be cut and colored today. I'm so scared. You guys are gonna get to see the whole process sped up, and I think I might be there for like six hours, so you guys get to see like a few minutes of the six hours. <laughs> Emmeline just told me about like the bleach and everything, and I was just like, you know what, I'm really not down to do the bleaching, so she's doing two test strips on the back of my head. Right here is one of the strands. It's like a blue and she said it will most likely fade to like a bluey purple which is so pretty i love this color and this is without any bleach and then there's one over here it's more of like a green toned blue so we're gonna go with this blue right here and it will fade to like a lighter blue i love this color it's like so pretty it's like a purpley bluey black you know what i don't care i know i look really stupid but we have the blue hair dye in my hair. Um, she applied it to everything, we put a cap on it, and we're gonna let it sit for 15 minutes. Um, I'm hype, I'm excited. Just came out of the shower, we're gonna clean it up, then cut it and blow it out. This is how much yeah. we're cutting off. That's so much hair. Oh, wow. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm 
in love. This is exactly how I want it to look. It's right above my chest and this blue is so gorgeous. And like, no matter how I flip my hair, I love it. It's so good. I literally am so happy. I look like a different person. Who is this? Fiona. <laughs> I'm back home and I'm actually in love with my hair and I'm so happy that we didn't have to use bleach like that made my day It will last up to 30 washes and I think the color is gorgeous It's like almost like a natural blue like it's not like bright bright blue But in certain lighting like when the Sun hits it It's blue and then sometimes it kind of looks purple comment down below what color you think it is because my dad thinks it's purple And I'm like no you're colorblind, but then again I actually could see that the whole like styling was $250 so it was expensive but at the same time I feel like that's a good price for what I got because I got like so much done and it took so much of their time so yes thanks to the lovely ladies at the salon next up I'm gonna get my second piercing and wear the dolls kill outfits and I'm gonna look like a different person right now we're getting my second piercing right now I don't have my other piercing in which I feel like is bad but I don't really know Are you gonna give me a countdown? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait, is it on? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Relax. I'm so scared. You don't know. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold up. I'm so scared. Three. Oh, that wasn't even bad. Wow. Oh, that one hurt a lot more. I was like so scared in the beginning, as you guys saw, but it didn't hurt at all. I was. I was good. Thank you, Megan, for She's filming. Yes, of course. So I'm actually really surprised that my ears aren't like sore. I love how I'm just like flexing my ear. I'm like, hey, what's up? This is what they look like. The second piercing honestly didn't hurt very much. As you can see, there's still blue dye on my ear. I think they look actually really cool, and I'm glad that it didn't hurt. So I think the next step is for me to open the doll's kill package because I'm really curious to see what the clothes look like. And my mom's coming home in like an hour. So we gotta open the package. Here we go. Ooh, 20% off. We have the puffer jacket. We have the skirt. Ooh, it comes with the chain. I think this is the puffer jacket in silver. Or maybe I'm just confused. But anyways, we have two silver items and we have the jacket, which I remember ordering. And then we got the sequined checker long sleeve turtleneck thing. This is like one whole outfit right there. And then for the next outfit, we have the cheetah pants. Okay, that's so sick, they all come with chains. And then this one right here is the uh, I love you honey bunny. So that's one outfit, that's the other. I'm just confused on what this is, so let's open it because I don't remember ordering anything else. Wait, what? It's like a puffer skirt? Wait, is this the puffer skirt too? I ordered two of the exact same skirt. I'm a smart human, what can I say? Okay, I wasn't expecting the skirt to be puffy. It's like a puffer jacket skirt. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. My mom is home. Okay, you can open. Oh my God. My hair is short and it kinda looks like your hair. I'm not sure how I feel. I, what do you think about it? I don't know, I'm not sure I'm, I'm I love, I love the eyelashes. I don't mind. You don't like the hair. You're the first person. Literally everyone loves my hair. I mean, it looks good. I think because I'm just not used to it. I think my mom feels like it's a, a big change. So she was like, like what initially? And she wasn't expecting it. But she, it's like grown on her. She still likes my natural hair more, but she likes the cut of this, which I agree. I like my natural hair the most, but I feel like this is such a good change. And I like, I like it a lot. Anyways, we're gonna be completely changing my style up today. So we have the outfit. It's a lot. Like this skirt is like a puffer skirt with this and this and like, it's gonna be a look. I feel like let's just like put it on like right now. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this. It's so different. Wait, okay. Like I feel like it's a very like, I don't know, like it's edgy, but I really like how it goes. And I just paired it with my Doc Martens, and I kind of love it. The chain is such a good addition, and I feel like it all just like goes together really well. I feel like a different person right now. Wow. Okay, well we're gonna go out and about. I wanna do some room decor shopping and some Christmas shopping. We decided to stop at Chipotle. I'm really camera shy right now because everyone I feel like is looking at my jacket or my skirt. I feel like if I took off the jacket, it wouldn't be as loud. Yeah, this is better, but I don't know. The jacket just makes things pop, you know? Why not? 
feel like a little Christmassy tree almost because like the silver and the red. We're shopping at Cost Plus right now. So it is the end of day one for this outfit. Honestly, I feel very like spacious, like with like a bun. I feel like I feel like I'm from outer space. I'm like an alien or something. I think it's a really cool, different look. It's very out there for me. I really like this top and the skirt, but like all of it together is a lot, but I feel like it's a very unique and it does bring out the hair. Like I feel like it's a very, it's a very new style. Um, and it was cool to step out of my comfort zone. It was definitely a lot because I felt like everyone was staring at my jacket. Wow. Just wow. These pants are crazy. They're like actually like cheetah print. Like I feel like if I felt a cheetah, this is what it would feel like. So I'm going to change into this. I'm also going to put a black belt because I don't know if they're going to stay up. Honestly, not sure how I feel about it. They're like, I don't know. They like the pants fit. They're just like really low rise. Like I like when my belly button is covered. I don't know how I feel about it, but I like the shirt. <sighs> oh. <laughs> the pants are funky. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a great word to describe them. Time to go embarrass myself at Urban Outfitters with these pants. So I actually don't feel too out of place, which is good. Honestly, I'm like feeling good about this outfit. It's not too crazy. It is a little bit, but like I feel comfortable. Like I don't feel out of out of place almost. Like I feel like I fit in. When I was in Urban Outfitters, I got three compliments they're like oh my gosh i love your pants and the other person's like oh my gosh i love your shirt i feel like it's just where i live like it's kind of blends in it's not my personal style but i think it's interesting so changing up my look before the new year started actually felt really good and it definitely took a lot of guts for me because i've never changed my hair and maybe you're like me you've never changed your hair but it actually felt so good and you get to try new styles and see how you look which was super cool and i'm i'm really digging it honestly sometimes it looks black sometimes it looks looks blue comment down below if you could dye your hair any color what would it be comment it the second piercing isn't too noticeable honestly but like i do think it's really cool when my hair is up but that was really scary because i'm super scared of needles so i feel like this whole experience opened my eyes and just kind of had me step out of the box and go way out of my comfort zone it feels good and i would highly recommend changing your look up and like this is like temporary change so it was really cool to experience and experiment so I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope it inspired you. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I love you and bye guys. Huggy huggies.